Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to create content fragment model. So let's straight away go to the demo part. I'll explain all the concept while demo. To create content fragment model, go to tools, assets, and this content fragment model. But as soon as you open this content fragment model, you won't find your folder, AEM Geeks folder. Right? Either in that case, there might be two reasons. Either you do not have that folder or your folder does not have permissions to create content fragment model. Uh, so you don't see any create button here. So that means you cannot create your folder from here to keep content fragment model. To resolve this issue, you have to come back go to this tools and then configuration browser here you see you have your am geeks folder means your project specific folder but now you must have a question if i have this folder then why this folder was not visible there while creating content fragment model so reason is your folder is not allowed to create content fragment models to resolve that just go to properties and you will find this content fragment model checkbox. You have to check this. Now your folder will have allow to create content fragment models. Save. If you do not find your project specific folder here, suppose you are you are using old code base, and at that time content fragment were not there, so you can create your own folder from here. Okay, I have updated my folder. Now go back tools assets content fragment model now you see your own folder because now this is allowed to create content fragment model now go to this folder and create it will ask you for the name okay let me give some name author so i'm creating author content fragment model just create Once this content fragment model is created, you will find a canvas and on right side, you will find some data type mint fields. Uh, so this is the editor to uh, edit your content fragment model. Now you can use any field for your content fragment model. Okay, let me add this first single line. Click on this. So you right hand side, you will find the property box. You can update the behavior of this field and uh, the necessary properties so first folder is how do you want to use it either text field or multi field i'll explain what is that multi field now the label let me give author name this is the important this is the property by which against which the data will be you know your content will be saved right you remember how you give a property to your field in dialogue the same way you have to define this property okay let me give author name placeholder text if you want any placeholder text default value if you want any default value if it is required and this is the description okay so i have added a field property name um, this description now if you want to add another field go to the data types and add uh, one more field let me add one more single field but now this time i will make it multi field that means you can add more than one single line edit multi field let me add books books name is books right? and you can give the description as well add checkbox you have to add boolean and again you give the values okay let me give is author and property is is author you can give the default value is check or uncheck i'm keeping it unchecked and you can give the description as well i'm trying to match this uh, with our author component which i created when i explain you multi field okay let me add a date field publish it that 
that's done date is done and how will you add drop down there is a field enumeration add this drop down let me add after this so important part is how you will add the values of this drop down let me add a field label first in this options field you can add a comma separated values okay let me add is author is author comma professor now while creating the content fragment author has an option to choose either author professor or both okay now uh, to add multi line or paragraph you have to add this multi line text you can use this okay for this you can give a uh, field name property name and the one is default type what kind of editor you want rich text or this plain text or markdown so i'll keep it rich text so that you can have some additional features of rich text uh, so once you are done with the fields you can uh, save so once you save your content fragment model has been created now uh, now you must have a question where my content fragment model store so these are stored in your project specific folder inside conf folder so go to the crxd uh, go for conf my project specific folder settings dam and content fragment model inside models you will find your recent model what we created so all your content fragment model store in conf folder and your project specific folder uh, i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment thank you